Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And today for Tuesday, let's take a look at the second lesson that's assigned for morning prayer, and that is St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, the second chapter, beginning at the 12th verse. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice of, and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye, ye joy and rejoice with me. Okay, so uh, so we, again, Paul's writing this letter to the particular community in Philippi and, and driving home some points, and we read them now in the church because they contain universal truths. Now, there's two things that's interesting. First of all, he says, uh, we are to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Now, some people have confused this and somehow thought that we earn our own salvation or we work it out in the sense of it hasn't been accomplished and we have to do something in order to make it work. Uh, rather, I think we can clearly state, knowing everything else that Paul says about salvation, even later in this particular reading, that the salvation has already been won for us in Jesus Christ, right? We, we receive the gift of eternal life by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. It's not an act of a work. But the working out of our salvation is how we take this salvation into effect in our life so that we are living the life of faith. We are living the life of grace and we're not putting ourselves into the type of sinful situations uh, where we end up turning away from Jesus Christ. And, and some of us may know with great tears uh, those who have turned away from not just the practice of the faith, but made a conscious decision to not serve Jesus Christ or even worse, a conscious decision to serve a false God uh, and a false religion. So uh, that's what we mean by the, not, not just in his presence, but, but in his absence, Paul's absence, that we are working out this salvation. We're learning how to live it by grace through faith. But then he goes on, he says, and do all things without murmurings and disputings. Whew, boy, I tell you what, the problem is we're human beings, aren't we? And human beings, because we're sinful, we do a lot of murmuring and disputing inside the church and outside of the church, right? So obviously, if there are things that are being done wrong and things that are uh, stray from the teachings of Scripture and the re revelation that God has given through Jesus Christ to the church, we certainly need to make sure we put a stop to such things so that we are not leading others astray or not leading people to the fullness of the faith in Jesus Christ. But, you know, the kind of murmurings and bumble mumblings and, and, oh my gosh, this person, can you believe they did this and they did that? Or uh, that kind of stuff, obviously, uh, is not going to be helpful for the building up of the faith, either our own, right, the faith uh, of our that we acquiesce to, or uh, is not going to help us to share the faith of God in Jesus Christ. And of course, we know that through uh, the many, 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 many divisions that have happened in the church, uh, both starting uh, with the division of East and West uh, in the 11th century, uh, and then of course in the 16th century uh, to this very day, the continuing divisions of the church of the West uh, through various uh, disputes and murmuring. So this is the week of prayer for Christian unity, uh, and so we certainly should take this to heart, this uh, admonition by St. Paul, that we work towards working out our salvation with fear and trembling. Right? We do all things to God's glory and according to his will and purpose, and we do so without disputings or murmurings. So, so today is Tuesday. We do have 12:15 Holy Communion today. Back to our regular schedule uh, after yesterday's funeral. So 12:15 Holy Communion, and then four o'clock evening prayer. And God willing. We'll see you in church.